So what we have is a no start. But listen real close. See if we can get it to do it. What we got here is a color command. Hero. So did y'all hear the backfire? So do you know what's wrong with it? I think I do. Welcome back to Rayleigh Small Engines. I'm T-Bone. So a solid backfire like that, generally I'm thinking valve train or sheared flywheel key. Generally you'll see flywheel keys sheared and stuff like push mowers most of the time. Uh, this, you know, of course you got belts running everything, so it gives a little bit of give. What I think we're going to find in this one, and we're going to see if I'm right or not, I don't know, I haven't taken it apart yet, but I'm wondering if the bolt holding the flywheel has gotten a little bit loose. We're gonna find out, y'all stick around, we're gonna tear it apart. Well, let's get some of this out of the way. Mowers are, mowers are different, you know, so do what you gotta do. What the goal is, let's get this engine cover off and get down to that flywheel. Different mowers, different ways to check them. But on this Kohler Command, that's all right, don't worry about that. On this Kohler Command, that's the how you get to that. And that's going to be 10 millimeter and 8 millimeter. Generally, just a couple of little screws. Buzz them out. Chunk them over there. We'll find them later. Those are our eights, a couple of tens. The screw is going to be longer than that other one I'm going to pull out because it's got to go through that also. See, shorter. Now let's see. Oh, there's another one. It's just all screwed up, man. Screws everywhere. Some of these you don't have to take all the way out. And there's our, well, I got to get the doggone regulator off. Big dummy. I'll leave it plugged up. We'll just pull that whole thing loose. Ain't too screwy. Look at there. I just dropped a washer. Never see that again. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is, folks. Now we are down to the wheel that flies. These usually just come off of there. There's a little metal clip sometimes. This one may have not ever been off of this machine. And eh, just like that. Don't worry about those clips. These do snap in there good enough. Got a couple more screws here. Those screws have a little shoulder on them. Now, here's what we want to look at. 13 millimeter socket. Usually I'll use the impact and buzz that right off. First thing I'm going to do, let's see is it loose. Look at there. That's way too easy. Okay. Normally I'm going to put an impact on there, but you know, do the thing with the thing. So now that we got that out of the way, this starter gear is going to hit this ignition coil. So let's buzz it out of the way. I'll show you how to adjust that in a minute. Really simple. Just get a really small engine's business card. You know, you really don't need a special tool. But when I put this bolt back in, you'll notice right here that ridge at the top. I don't want to be hitting that with a hammer and damaging it. So I'm going to show you a little trick. Let's get right over here. I'm going to screw it in. Yes, you can use a puller if you want to. This works just fine. And what I'll do is I'm going to take, instead of just whacking that with a hammer, I'm going to put a little 13 millimeter socket and find me a good spot to pry where I'm not going to break anything. Just put just a little bit of tension on this flywheel. See, I'm putting a little bit of pressure. And then we're going to take a brass hammer so I don't mess my socket up or the bolt. Well, there that went. All right, let's see. And pull my bolt back 
back out of the way here. What we're going to look for is right there in that keyway and where it lines up with the flywheel. I can't see yet, so I don't know. We're going to see together. Yep, I think. Maybe. All right. My keyway is here. It's way over here. Yep, right there. Hold on, let me get you around there. All right, y'all saw I pulled the flywheel off and the keyway, I basically got it in the same position it was in. And you can see right there. Right there. See, that's broken off right there. This is just too easy, folks. Now, the real question, do I have one? I should. So, anyway, we recorded a little camping video. We got stalked by alligators. I'm going to try to have that video out here in a, in a few, three, four days uh, once I get it edited because, goodness, the footage to go through. Stick around, y'all. Let's get this machine fixed. So the first thing I want to do is get these pieces out. I'm going to hold my hand under here. and There it comes with the pick tool. I got that one right there. Now will this one come out? Yep. And I'll show you what that looks like. So these are like a uh, half moon looking deal. I know my hands are in the way. Let's see if I can put it together. Hold it right there. Well, stay together. Stay together now. We've got to show these people. That's what it's supposed to look like. Let's go see if we can find one. So the correct one for this machine is a 3 16th by 5 8 But don't take my word for it. What I'd like you to do is look on your engine cover, get your model number and your spec number, go look it up somewhere like parts tree to make sure you get the correct one for yours so when you go to put this in if it wants to fall out you might have the wrong size if you have to put you a little grease and it'll kind of help hold it in place and it just it sticks in there by half the half the thickness of that thing or that, what that way anyhow and then you want to gently set that flywheel back down so let's see We're we'll going to line this up with that keyway and gently, ow, got my, it bit me, man. Stick our bolt and our washer back up here. Uh-oh, did I move y'all? Sorry, air hose, camera, bumper, and we're going to tighten this bad boy down. That's tight. She ain't coming off. I want to go get all technical. Go get your torque wrench and torque it down. I do them all the time. That's how I always do them, and it always works. So now, you have to have a special tool. It's an adjustment tool right there to get the proper specs. It only works with a Rayleigh small engine business card. No, I'm just kidding. Just get any business card. It'll be fine. We're going to take the buzz easy in right here. Now, what I'm going to do, you see this moves in and out a little bit. I'm going to push it back and just, just run them down just a little bit, okay? One ugga dugga is all you need. And we'll take our business card, and what we're going to do, get our magnet right here lined up right in the center exactly there. Put your business card in. And what we're going to do now... I'm going to loosen and loosen. And watch this coil now. It's going to snap up there. Maybe. There it went. You see it? Put my finger in the way. There it goes the rest of the way. See that? It's good. Now we're going to snug this back down. And if it, you, you go to tighten this and you tighten it too much and you feel it snap, you know you tighten it too much. So... Know what I mean, and then that right there. All right, let's at least see if it's got any oil in it, and we're gonna bust it off just like this. Yeah, it'll work. All 
All right, let's see what's going to happen, y'all. Turn the fuel on. Probably going to leave all my parts. They're going to all fall on the floor, and I'll be hunting them. Will it run, y'all? That's what I'm talking about. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm T-Bone. Thanks for tuning in to Rayleigh Saw Engine. Y'all click that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Share these videos with your friends. Be sure you subscribe. Now, you don't want to miss this camping video I'm working on. It's going to be cool.